White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up, and straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias. Dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real as rain. Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply... Ugh, Sophia Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid, a little girl. Cindy's alive, I know it in my gut. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos. All responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. Okay, that was a lot of audio diaries. Hello guys, Pancakes here, with my next entry into Let's Play Bioshock 2. And I know some of you guys are probably wondering why, what happened to Bioshock 1. Quickly, head for the elevator. And, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I've been really busy. Um, I have three finals next week. No, no, four finals next week. And I've been studying my ass off. Uh, cause I, I, I really need to do well in these events, and so I've, I've, uh, I've been doing that all day. Um... And uh, I decided to uh, go ahead and try and get a commentary done before I go to sleep, and so this is it. And whenever I get time, I'll try to record it, but uh, if I can't do it this week, I'll, I'll record the rest of Bioshock over spring break. So, I'll get to it eventually, you just be a little bit patient, and that'd be great. I know, um, I know a lot of you guys have been already, have already been patient, but uh, I'll do what I can. But I already have a good amount of Bioshock 2 recorded, so I figured I'd just upload this instead. Hopefully it will uh, hold some of you guys over. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this on my, in my last video I put up, which was uh, my Twitter account. I actually now have a Twitter account. I've never used Twitter, so I decided to I don't know, give it a try. <laughs> Uh, link to that will be in the, in the description. Uh, feel free to follow me. Um, don't have too many followers yet, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we can change that. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. Uh, everybody's welcome. And uh, like I said, I'll have a link to that in the description, and I'll probably make like an annotation link to. I don't know. Now, here is what the children tell me: You are a very old big daddy. Bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb. 
daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Right, so that's pretty much uh, the point of the game is I'm trying to reunite with my uh, little sister. If you guys didn't catch on already. And here we get introduced to a uh, nifty little feature. The uh, trap rivets, I think that's what they're called. I haven't played this in a while. Yes, trap rivets. And um, they're kind of like the, uh, um, what are they? The, they're like the trap arrows, I guess, from uh, Bioshock 1. I don't remember what they're called. Maybe they're called the trap arrows. But at either rate, um, they're similar, but not quite the same. But hold on, go listen to the diary. <laughs> Dr. Su Chong's death was a nasty blow to the protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again. But I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight. Like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more. Something stronger. An unbreakable physiological bond. So, uh, the, pretty much the trap rivets, they just set like a... It's like it's like a trap. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm being really redundant here. It's pretty much if, if the enemy walks over it, the, it, it hits them. Let's just put it there. Um, I made that way too complicated. <laughs> um, and uh, this is unfortunately the only time you actually see Tenenbaum in the game. She doesn't have any real significance past this point. And it will be introduced to a new character who will be with us throughout the rest of the game. Um, and we will meet him in like a minute or so. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for, for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare will repeat forever. Now, we must talk citizens of Rapture. This is Subject Delta. Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people, without soul or sympathy. It is a beast apart, and as family, we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lem will take this place apart to fight you. Please, hold back the splicers until we escape. Alright, so pretty much all I do here is I hold off the splicers. Um, I think they come in waves or something, but... It's pretty much I use this opportunity to uh, set up the trap rivets. And, uh... Just to prepare a defense, I guess. And this part really isn't too difficult, as long as you, uh play it smart. I'm only playing this on normal. I imagine it's a lot tougher on hard, but I guess the general idea is to, uh... I mean, here I'm ca kind of catching them as they're spawning. Um, and, uh, I definitely would uh, keep your back to the walls. If that's what you should generally do uh, in any case, if you were being rushed by multiple splicers or enemies or, or whatnot. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I made sure I hacked that camera beforehand. Make sure you do that because as you can see it, they trigger it and it um, sends boss after them, which is helpful. Thank you. Now I must leave you. And I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor. Complete with iron horse. <coughs> the name's Augustus Sinclair Sport. Esquire. 
Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building. The very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. All right, so like you said, the next level is Ryan Amusements. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next one will be Ryan's Amusements, and I'll see you guys later.